Hey everybody, welcome to another quick episode of OPW University. My name is Dan Boyle and I'm the Senior Sales and Technical Support Person here at OPW and we're standing inside our Smithfield office. Just want to do a really quick video for an update that we are making, have made to our product lineup which regards our Swedge machine, our CME-200. Um, in an effort to always consistently get better and look for better products and look for better offerings to give you and our contractors out there in the field, we're switching over to a, a brand called BVA. So today we're just gonna do a quick unboxing video, show you how it's gonna come to you, how to make those connections, and then a real quick example of how to operate this machine. So you're, whenever this comes to you, you'll be getting this in two boxes. In one box, you'll have the powerhouse itself. This is the electrical powerhouse. And it, you'll notice that the major change here is that it is red and no longer yellow. Um, visually, that's, that's the biggest difference. You'll also notice that it has this lever arm on the front, and that is going to be to swedge and to release. That is the only operational change from this machine to the previous version. In the other box, you'll have all the, all the components to actually move the cylinder and move the swedge. So that will be your hose, which will attach to the powerhouse with this quick connect fitting. It will have your cylinder, which will actually be doing the work, which will have your draw bar and your mandrel. And you'll see that also has the quick connect on the side. It will also come with your hydraulic oil and your installation instructions. So pretty simple installation here. We are just going to unpackage our hose and our quick connect and we're going to be using Teflon tape to make these connections so that they seal up uh, as tight as we need them. So here we're just going to be putting some thread seal and some Teflon tape on our edges so that when we put this in we're going to have very tight connections. Uh, loose connections will definitely have an effect on uh, the operation of the machine. If that hydraulic system is not tight, then it will not operate the way that it's supposed to. So we're just going to put some Teflon tape on one end and we'll put our, our quick disconnect here on the other. You're going to need two wrenches for this operation to hold one and to tighten the, the quick connect. All right, once we have that connection good and tight, we'll be able to then connect the other end to our powerhouse. Now this powerhouse has a silver plug in it whenever you get it right here in the front. That's where our hose connection is going to go right here. All right, again, once we've got that good with uh, thread, thread sealed Teflon tape, Tighten that all the way down to make a tight hydraulic system. So now we've got our hose attached to our powerhouse, and then we have our quick disconnect cap. We can thread off of here. And with that quick disconnect, you're just gonna shove that in slide the coupler over the top and begin to tighten that all the way down. Now I would suggest whenever you're putting this together and you're getting ready to use it, uh, you do put a wrench on there and tighten that all the way down. These quick connects are great, but you do want to make sure that you snug that with a wrench so that we do maintain that tight hydraulic system so that we don't have any leaks or any inefficiencies in that system. So once you get that on there, you'll tighten, you'll hit that with a wrench. And then you'll see that the cylinder that we're coming here, the new red one, is the exact same shape, exact same size as our yellow one. So it will still be working with our SBA2 uh, mandrel and drawbar kits. That is the style that looks a little bit taller than the old barrel version, and it will slide right over that hose connection. So I'm going to fill this up with, with the hydraulic oil that it comes with. We're going to do that off camera, and then I'm going to do a quick representation of how this thing is going to operate. Now that we got our BVA um, powerhouse filled with hydraulic oil, we're going to connect our cylinder with that quick connect. I took that off so that we could uh, more easily fill our reservoir. So by this point, everything that came in our two boxes 
should be assembled. The other piece that, that you would need, what I'm showing here, is the SBA2-150. That's our inch and a half swedge mandrel kit. You'll thread the two nuts and you want to make sure to back them up tight to each other, but you want to bring those really ho up high on our draw bar. You'll then slide the draw bar um, through the bottom away from the hose and then you will have your face plate to go right over the top. So once you put your piece of pipe on, you'll be able to thread your mandrel and sweat your piece of pipe. For a more detailed step-by-step -step breakdown on how to properly swedge and measure and couple your pipe, uh, we do have another video for that on the OPW University page. So we'll imagine, for, for imagination's sake, that we have a piece of pipe and a mandrel and a, I'm sorry, and a DPC on here. So you'll want to turn, this is the operational difference between this and the previous version, is you will want to click this into the swedge position. And then we already have, we got a, an on switch on the back. So we'll turn it on, we'll get our, we'll get our green light. And then we'll be able to pull that sweat block through. Now once we've made our swedge, you'll see that this does not automatically return. You'll have to take the toggle switch and move it to the farthest position. Go past the middle position. And then as you get it to the return position, you'll start to see that that mandrel will start to bring itself back through. So we're really excited for everybody to continue using our, our new BVA swedge machine along with our DPC couplings. Um, we really think that it's one of the best ways to maximize all of the benefits of our FlexWork system. If you have any questions, please reach out to the DM in your area or go to opwglobal.com. Thank you.